This is a nonfiction book called The Life Cycles Chickens. Let's begin reading. Chickens strut around the barnyard. There are many kinds of chickens. These are white leghorns. The male rooster is bigger than the female hen. He has longer tail feathers too. I think he has fancier features than the hen. Hens lay eggs even if there's no rooster around. Then a chick will grow inside each fertilized egg. So remember, the um, eggs have to be fertilized in order for chicks to grow. After the hen lays several eggs, she begins to brood. Oh, we know what that is. Brood is when she sits on her eggs. Her body keeps the eggs warm. A brooding hen does not leave her eggs for long. It doesn't say that the roosters help out here. So I don't think they do. Oh, I'll turn this page so you can see it in a minute. It looks very great. A chicken begins as a tiny spot on the yolk. In a few days, the body and tail form. The developing chick or embryo gets food from the yolk. Oh, I think we just answered a question. It also gets some food and lots of water from the egg white. The embryo grows fast. After two weeks, it has feathers. About a week later, cheeping sounds come from the egg. The chick is ready to hatch. Oh, look at this. So look at this picture. This is a picture of inside the egg. So here's the baby chick. And you can see this looks like the yolk. So that's where it's getting its food and water. Some of it also might be the, the clear stuff might be the albumin. Remember? The albumin, we talked about that. The chick uses a special egg tooth on its beak to poke a hole through the shell. Then it slowly works its way around the egg, chipping through the shell for a small chick. This is a big job. So you can see it's using its egg tooth to crack open the shell. And then it cracks kind of along a line to get that shell so it cracks. Here's, oh, there it is pushing it. And remember, here it is all wet. And finally it came out. Finally, the little bird pushes the shell apart. Out it comes. It's weak, because it works so hard, and it's wet. Young chicks stay close to their mother. They snuggle under her to keep warm. In a day or two, they begin to walk and peck the ground, looking for grain and other food. The chicks are covered with soft, downy feathers. Their constant cheeping helps their mother find them. We can say cheeping or peeping. In two to three weeks, real feathers begin to replace the chick's soft down. The chicks are growing up. They spend more and more time away from their mother. In just five months, young hens will be ready to start laying eggs. Ooh, five months old. All chickens squawk and cluck, but roosters are the loudest of all. At dawn, Oh, that's when the morning the sun rises. That's dawn. A rooster puffs out his chest and crows as loudly as he can. He seems to be telling the world how important he is. Can you put these in order? Well, what do you think happens first? Let's take a look here. I would have to say the mommy hen lays, on, lays eggs. She sits on her eggs. Then what happens? You can see inside the baby chick growing. Then the baby chick puffs out. Right here. And then it's a like a teenage chicken. And then it becomes an adult chicken. Let's see if we were right. Here's, here it is. The eggs, the mommy sits. What's inside the egg? The baby chick Gets itself out of the egg. There it is, all fluffy. Teenager. Adult. And then the adult hen lays eggs. This was a great informational book. I think we learned a few things that we were wondering about.